The Seminoles cut the lead to 17 to 10 in the second half. But the Noles could not get enough going on offense. They were sacked nine times as Miami defeated Florida State 27-10. It was frustrating. Uh, we, I mean, they all upset, um, disappointed. Um, they all wanted to win this ball game really bad. And um, but they also know uh, we got to play winning football. You can't, you can't have those penalties even get us behind and, and we got to block you know we got to um, be where we're supposed to be if you got the middle third you got to be there you know um, and then we got to do a better job as coaches to make sure our guys in the right place and and, and um, the right place to make plays yeah you definitely want to win these ones um, and we didn't we weren't able to uh, to win it we came up short um, and it's definitely not what you want um, you want you want to win this game. This is a real big game. We didn't do it. This is really tough because we know you know with a big rivalry, you know how bad you really want to win. So when things don't go your way, it's good. Like really frustrating. Uh, those penalties, um, especially early penalties, and we didn't do anything offensively. So we wouldn't, we didn't flip the field. Uh, we didn't do anything offensively. Offensively, we didn't do anything special team wise to to flip the, the uh, field position and, and to win the hit and yardage. We didn't do that. I thought offensively and defense. I mean, offensively and special teams. We. We didn't come and play. Your head's in the right place. It's just sometimes you just got to give them an extra push. And that's why certain guys like Marvin Wilson, Hampson, Azadine, and myself, like, I think that's where we step in as teammates to give that extra push. I think all of us just need to do a better job of executing um, and doing our jobs and keeping it simple. Um, there's going to be a lot of things that people want to say about this one after the game, but at the end of the day, you just keep it simple and see what you can do better. Next up for the Seminoles, they finish up ACC play on the road as they head up to Chestnut Hill to take on Boston College next Saturday at noon. That'll wrap up our coverage for now. LaneHurtSeminoles.com.